Begin by expanding the HMI and Screens menu items from the project tree. Double click the screen you wish to edit. We will insert a switch and pilot light in the control screen of the example project. Open the HMI screen toolbox in libraries by clicking the tab. Drag and drop the desired switch and pilot light elements onto the screen. With the new elements on the screen, select an image and select the Properties tab in the Configuration window. In the General category, define the process tag to be associated with the element. Confirm by clicking the checkbox. Now select the Events tab to configure the switch functions. Here we will define the functions to be performed for the events starting with the switch on action. Click Set Bit for the first function and define the bit to be set. We can now add the second function for the event. Click Reset Bit for this function. Now we will define the Switch Off actions for the switch. We will now configure the pilot light functions. Select the pilot light on the screen and select the Properties tab in the Configuration window. Define the process tag associated with the device. And click the checkbox to confirm. We can now define the attributes for the on and off states. With the switch and light inserted and configured, we will now test the functionality. Select the high-level HMI element from the project tree and start the HMI simulation feature. The Somatic WinCC Runtime Advanced window opens. Trigger the switch. Note that the pilot light changes state when the switch is activated. The switch and pilot light have been successfully inserted and configured in the HMI.